Hi, welcome to the first tutorial of creating Twitter bots. This bot will be retweeting some tweets based on hashtags. So, at first, let me show you how it works. If you can see, it says successfully logged in. Now, it will start retweeting. When showing that, let me show you that currently I have 163 tweets and if you can see tweet retweeted successfully that means there should be one more retweet right now as you can see this is an automatic retweet 164 tweets right now and this has been retweeted at the moment now if you can see that there are more retweets coming so if you can see this is a this is my pinned tweet so basically this was the last tweet if i refresh see the number of tweets has increased see these are the new tweets two more tweets has been retweeted so now we will be developing a program in python that will search for certain hashtags that will, you will be providing yourself and then uh, this will retweet some of the tweets based on those hashtags I'll be closing this and let's start coding. So before we start coding, you need to take a look at this. Uh, this is the Twitter developer platform and you need to apply here. Like apply for a developer account and they will be asking you a bunch of questions and you need to answer them as precisely as possible. Once your application is accepted, then you will get access to the developer portal. This is a developer portal and you can create a new app then you will get some bunch of uh, keys access tokens which you will be needing for the application there is a instruction in my github account um, about this project i will leave a link in the description so you might be able to see those instructions and then and do them accordingly so that you can successfully code as you'd like all right, so the first and foremost thing is that we need to create a virtual environment. I have virtual environment already installed in my PC, so I will be just using this command and I have a virtual environment. Now I will need to activate this virtual environment in the first place. So I will just write. As I'm using a Windows system, it's in source scripts and then activate and the, the virtual environment has been activated. Now, the thing is, there are certain things that we need to install. So basically, we need to install .env and okay. We will be installing TweePy and python.env. So, I will be just copying the command and pasting it here. I don't think I need this. So, first of all, let's install TweePy. And it takes some time to install. With that, we will also be installing .env because we will be storing those keys and stuff in the environment.env file. Okay, sorry. So it's okay. can stop. Okay. Now, uh, what we need to do is like, we will just freeze these things installed in a requirements.txt file so that whenever you need to, um, anybody needs to do use it so they can just run the peep install read minus r requirements.txt and then everything, every necessities or every dependencies will be installed. So let's keep it in a file. Requirements.txt. Okay. So we have a requirements.txt file which has all the dependencies that we will be needed. Okay. Now, in the first place, let's start coding. Um, as I said that I am not allowed to display anything about the passwords, the keys, the access tokens, so uh, I won't be showing the .env file. 
but I can, I will be creating a dot uh, in the demo file just for the sake of this code and we will be able to see. So just paste it here. This is basically the, it is how it looks like, the dot env file. We will be getting four sets of, you need to generate those keys and insert them here, your key, your secret, access token, and access token secret. Then, with these, we will be coding. All right, so we have created a file, a Python file that is retweet.py, where we will start coding. So the first thing we will need to do is in import the dependencies. So the first import will be twitpy, and we will import os. Now, as we will be using the .env files uh, to access the environment variables or the keys and secrets that we will be using to log into our, our account, so we will need to import from .env, we need to import load.env. Okay, so now let's load.env and everything is loaded into this file we need four things four secret things the first thing i'm naming this api key and we will be getting this from os.got.env and get env and basically this is what we are expecting dot api key i will copy this and i'll place it here then the next thing will be the API secret. Now, the same thing was dot get env, and we will be importing this Twitter API secret variable. Um, the next two things are access token. And it will also be like this. And we import the Twitter access token. The final is access token secret. And we will be importing this basically. So now we will initiate the auth handler and set these access tokens. So how do we do it? We will create a variable for Twitter auth and this is what we will be doing. We will pass the API key and the API secret. To it and then Twitter auth dot set access token. We will be passing this access token and access token secret. Finally, we will create a Twitter API to three pi dot API. And we will pass Twitter off. Okay. All right. So as we have the thing set, we need to test that if we can log in successfully or not. So let's give it, give it a try block. If Twitter API. Then it will print successfully logged in. Else, I'm going to put it a little bit. Oh, yeah, now that's the 
perfect indentation. Else it'll say print login field. Except block where we will have except twipy dot twip error as e and we will have print e. We can also use another exception except exception as e. We will print. All right. Now we can test. We have named it as retweet.py, so we will give the, let me clear this first. Like the retweet.py. And there you go. We have successfully logged in. All right. So now we will create another file called stream listener.py okay in this file let's also import the dependencies import twipy we will create a class called stream listener and we will pass the twipy.stream listener as the parameter so uh, class Listener, if I'm not wrong, Twipy Stream Listener. Now let's in, in it we will have self and API. And we are soft. And self dot me equals API dot me. <coughs> okay. Now we will have an on status function, and we will pass the parameter self and tweet. Now, the thing is we need to check that if the retweets have been retweeted before because we do not want to make redundant retweets. That means uh, one tweet that has been retweeted once before, we do not want to retweet that again. So we will be checking this with this condition. If tweet dot in reply to status iv is not None. Sorry. Or user dot id equals self dot me dot id. Then we will be returning it. So. We say return. All right. Now we will check that if not tweet dot retweeted, we will have a try block where we will tweet dot retweet. Call this function and this will retweet. And once it's retweeted, we will make a print and we will say retweeted successfully. Okay, uh, it, it's good to read the documentation or the returns and conditions of Twitter a developer API portal. So it's good. It's a good practice to make the code go to sleep for some for a while before retweeting again. So we will be just giving us sleep for ten seconds, and I think uh, we need to import. So what we do is 
from time import sleep there you go okay so after this we will accept exception as e and we'll print e okay that is that's it for the retweet and sometimes if you want to like like the retweets that you have been retweet, you have retweeted so you can also do that and yeah i don't think that it's necessary for this part of the tutorial but if if you want you can check it out on my github repository i'm not going to show it here so as we have the on status function we should have the on error function as well so the parameters that we'll be passing is self and status and in this we will be just printing error while we tweeting and we'll pass this status here I guess that's it for this function now what we will do is we will go back to the retweet.py and we will stream so what we do we will make a variable called tweets listener and we will call that string listener and we'll pass twitter api with this we are just initiating the a stream listener object so basically it's it has been auto imported so we don't need to worry about that now what we do is we will create a variable called twitch stream equals to twipy dot stream and we will pass twitter api dot auth and we'll also pass twit listener and finally twit twit stream dot filter okay in this case now we will be placing the hashtags for the search terms that means now you will see that we will uh, place a bunch of hashtags and Twitter will search, log into the system, search for those hashtags and then find the recent tweets and then retweet those things in our profile. So what we can do is write track and then this will be a list. about uh, as um, one of the most common hashtags for this program niche is 100 days of code so we will search for 100 days of code and we can also search for another one it's up to you how, how many you want to search for but for this tutorial purpose we will be showing only two so we have written the 100 days of code and programming life okay we need to put a hashtag before this yeah so now twitter will search for these two hashtags and retweet the recent tweets and we will also specify the languages that is to english all right so that's it for the code part now let's check it out before doing that let's go back to twitter and let's see what is the recent condition of our twitter account uh, it says that it has 166 tweets and this is the most recent tweet so when i run this it says successfully logged in and retweeted successfully so let's check it out 
will refresh you can see there are 170 tweets and this was the last tweet now this is the new retweet so you can also see these are being more and more are being retweeted and it's sleeping for 10 seconds so you can see that two more has been retweeted then we can check that if it was 170 it becomes 172 and there you go two more retweets so that's it for the video i hope you have enjoyed it and we will come up with some more contents like this in the future so consider following me on my social media links and have a good day goodbye